All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday. We got cameraman Freddie laughing behind the camera today. If you haven't checked out his channel, make sure y'all go do so. He's they might have to do that. Either way, it's gonna be linked down below. Y'all go check him out. His first video is gonna be coming out very soon. You don't want to miss it. Pretty epic stuff. So, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into today's Tackle Tuesday. Today we're gonna be talking about some of the best apps that you can download on your phone that are a must have for the fishermen. Whether you're surf fishing, you're fishing off the pier, fishing off a boat, whatever it is, these apps are definitely a must have. A lot of information on them, a lot of stuff you gotta know to be able to get out there as far as temperatures, tides, waves, all the good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and jump into all those apps that I got on my phone, how I use them, what all is on them. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so on my phone, I have a category labeled strictly for fishing. The first app we're going to talk about today is this Tides app. I use this every time we go out fishing. And so this is going to show us high tide and low tide every day and how much the tide swing is. All right, yeah, I don't really keep up with it enough to, to know whether or not high tide or low tide is really best. I don't keep up with it like that. But as long as the tide's moving, as you can see, Wednesday, Thursday, there's going to be the neap tide. So... Those two days may not be as good, but then we pick back up and we've got a big tide swing again. So this app's really great for keeping up with all that, knowing what you got going on, kind of where the water is. But the next app I like to use is called Fish Rules. And so this Fish Rules app, it is connected to your GPS location. And so right now I'm in Alabama, so we got Alabama regulations. But if you're fishing, you can click on Greater Amberjack. See the season's open, bag limits one, minimum size 34 inches to the fort. And go back. Pretty much got every species, so you can go through here, gag grouper, open season, bag limits two. This is really great for knowing, knowing kind of what's open. It also kind of help with some fish identifying. We can also look up red snapper. Everybody likes to catch those. As you can see here in Alabama right now, it is open, bag limits two, minimum size 16. However, if you saw my last video, we fished over in Florida the other day, and in Florida it's actually closed. But what's nice about this app is when I drive over there, it's connected to my GPS location. And so it knows I'm in Florida, and it knows the season's closed. So it's really great to be able to keep up with all that information. The next app on the list for us Alabama guys is the Outdoor Alabama app. I like this one a lot because it does show our license. So you can see in the top right corner, it shows the license. As you click on that, it'll have it. When I click on it, it shows all my personal information, so I'm not going to click on it there. But uh, you also got some other stuff like rules and regulations. You can click on the saltwater fishing, and it has a bunch of other information here. Similar information to the Fish Rules app. The Fish Rules, honestly, it just follows your location. It's a lot easier to use. Uh, but there's a lot of information on this as well. All right, guys, so if you are down here on vacation, you can also purchase your fishing license on this app as well. Hit the license button on the top right. The next app I'll have on here is the Fish and Hunt Florida app. It's basically the same thing as the Alabama one. You got all your licenses. You can purchase your license and look at all this. You got sunrise, sunset, whatever. Uh, but these are both good apps. That way, if you are fishing in either state, you have your stuff on there. If you don't have the card that shows your license and you get stopped for whatever reason, you can pull it up on this app, so it's always great to have that. Next up, we got the Wind Finder app. This is probably my most used app that I use for the fishing. You can click on Fort Morgan, and you can see today is Monday, and it's not too bad out there. Not much wind. The surf's about foot and a half or so. And so these are really great for surf fishing as well as if you are on a boat. It shows you the surf height as well as the duration. So you can see they're like a foot at five seconds, four seconds. The wind's not too bad. You get over here to Thursday, Friday, the wind starts picking up. Surf gets a little bit higher. So definitely great to have all that information. Again, this is the most used app I have on my phone. Always good to know. That way you know what size weight you're gonna need and uh, all that good stuff. And if it is too rough, you'll know that. Kind of, you can see on the far left, you can see which direction the wind is coming from as well. That plays a big part in how we fish down here on the Gulf. Next up, we got the Fishing Knots app. This app is pretty cool. Um, if, you, if you like knots, like tying different knots, you can see a bunch of information on how to tie them here. So you can go to the Uni Knot. You can scroll through here, and it's just a step-by-step -step picture or diagram exactly how to tie that knot. Again, you can go to a dropper loop. It just shows you everything. So there's a bunch of different knots on here. I really don't use this app a whole lot, but it is kind of cool if you're 
if you're new to learning a different a certain knot you just want to see how to do it without watching a whole youtube video you can go in here to like the clinch knot you can flip through you can watch it and then if you got another question about it you can flip back so pretty cool to get in here search all these knots figure out how to tie different stuff they got just about every knot you can think of it's a pretty cool app last but not least i got the fishing points Fishing Points is another app that I use all the time. It does have the map here, so you can use the map. I don't really use that a whole lot. But you can go down, you can save different locations. And so when you're on the map, you can do that. Um, you can also save catches, which is basically the same thing, saving your location and what you caught at that. And it does have the same kind of regulations like the Fish Rules app. Again, Fish Rules seems to be a little easier for me, but uh, I've actually never used it on this app. Um, but a lot of cool information. I'm not sure if this one keeps up with your location as far as the regulations exactly where you're at. It appears to be. It does have the waves on here as well. So you've seen a few of the different apps have shown this. I like to compare these apps. And if they're all kind of showing the same thing, it's usually pretty accurate. Sometimes they will vary a little bit, but it's always good to have a few different options on there this one does show the tides also again the the tides vary a little bit app by app as far as whatever they're going off of this one says high tides at 130 the other one said it was like 12 something mainly i use this one for the weather it seems to be the most accurate as far as rain down here we get a ton of rain and you never really know when it's going to come um, but this one you can flip through you can see the rain there you can click over to the wind speeds check out all the wind you can go day by day like this as well and so like we saw earlier the wind's going to pick up thursday friday and this one pretty much shows the same thing uh you can see the pressure as well so a lot of good information on this fish and points app um i don't keep up with any of this this is the first time i've ever even clicked on it but uh, if you're interested in any of this information it's got all that sunrise sunset what the moon's doing all that good stuff um, I know that does play a part in all this, but I am not intelligent enough to know what any of this means. I don't keep up with any of that. But all in all, this is definitely a must-have app. Again, I like it mostly for the weather, but got a really a lot of really good stuff on here. It is a paid version, so I do pay for this one. If you don't pay for it, you can only see the day of, whereas I can go out and I can look at the future days. Um, I think as far as locations and stuff as well, if you don't have the paid version, you can only have a few locations. I'm able to do a little bit more stuff, but there's the map on there also. So you can see I've got a few marked spots, but that's going to do it on those apps. All right, guys. So those are some of the apps that I use every time I go out fishing. If I can, I'm going to link them down below. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do that from a computer. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do that from a computer, but if I can, I'll try. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Those are definitely some helpful apps. If you have anything you all want to see on a Tackle Tuesday, make sure you all comment down below. I'm making these videos for you all, so whatever you all want to see, I will try to give you all that information. So comment down below if there's something you want to know or want to see me do, talk about whatever. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. And I appreciate you. Until next time, you all take care.